Greetings, foolish worlds. So, this is a little awkward video. Um, so this morning, and I am so glad I'm a VTuber right now because, oh my god, I look like garbage. Um, this morning, I watched the newest Jimquisition video. And I like Jimquisition. I love her content. I love, um, her stuff. And it's fun. I've been following her for a very long time. I too am an old bitch, like she said. Um, and she was talking about the newest game, Skull and Duggery, or Skull and Bones, but, um, and pointed out, like, the whole quadruple A, I'm sorry, yeah, quadruple A thing, and forgive me if this seems like rush, or last minute, or there is zero editing, or all that jazz, it legitimately is, I just opened up my OBS, put on my just chatting screen, turned on my VTuber model, oh my god. My hair is a mess, and I'm so glad I have a VTuber model. And I'm just saying my thoughts. Will this be edited? Most likely not! Um, so, talking about the Skull and Bones things. Um, so, I do have a friend who is playing, I think, the open beta. Is playing the beta. Not worth buying. It's basically, according to, that, according to him, the... Same if you've played Assassin's Creed Black Flag and you did the ship battles. It's the same as the ship battles back then. There's no, so far, no land combat. There might be microtransactions? Maybe? Possibly? Um, I assume there is because there's a thing with silver pieces and gold pieces. If you played Sea of Thieves, you kind of understand with the silver pieces, gold pieces, and the bloom thing. Um, so there might be microtransactions for cosmetics, question mark? I don't know. It's alright. It's kind of repetitive, but you know, we'll be soft. So if you're curious about that. And, um, another thing about the skull thing. Now this is only, uh, a rumor or hearsay done by one of my friends who is a huge... Not a, I don't think he's really a Ubisoft fan. He was a huge fan of Beyond Good and Evil, and he's getting sick and tired of being teased for the new game. And trust me, he will go on about how that game was in game hell and is currently the longest game still being put in, the longest game that is still in gaming, make, game making help. Development help, that's the word. Trust me, it will activate and you will hear it. Hi, if you're watching this video, by the way, friendo. I'm trying to remove names for safety. Um, he also, uh, and he mentioned something that was very interesting that I think is the other reason why they're trying to push this quadruple game and, um, uh, quadruple game and $70 price tag. And I don't know if I believe the rumor or not, but it is a rumor, and, you know, might as well share it. Where he basically says apparently Ubisoft might have taken a loan from a government or something like that. And if Skull and Bones doesn't do well, they're going to be in deep trouble with this foreign government. I don't know which government. I can't remember off the top of my head. I am under-caffeinated. And I, uh, I'm under-caffeinated. <laughs> so forgive me if my uh, memory's a little wink wink Because I'm also like you, old bitch, trying to remember everything off the top of her dome. Um, now... That's not, like, the main reason I wanted to make this video, but it's just some cute little things I wanted to add. The main reason why I wanted to make this video is because at the end of Jim the Jimquisition video, basically she was talking about how early 2010, uh, early 2000s, so that far back, there were game companies trying to justify the up-pricing of their video games. I remember that clearly, too. I, too, am old, and I remember this very clearly back then. Even though I might have been slightly younger than... Anyway. I clearly remember this happening. And I remember clearly remembering when, peop when the video game prices would go up. But there's also something else I remember. And I don't know if anyone else remembered this. So, whenever they would try to justify why they were raising their prices. I remember, I don't know which game companies did it. I don't even know if it was just some people on forums. They were trying to say... Trying to push this whole, um, we want to pay our employees better. Which we all know is a freaking crack of, sh crack of shit, if you ask me. Um, 
And I remember the diehard fans of certain video game companies that would say this were trying to push this whole narrative of like, what, you don't support the people working on your video games? What, you don't want to support the programmers and everything? They deserve money. They deserve all this cash. Da 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 da. You know, trying to push this whole, we need to care about the little people. And then, you know, yeah, the devs working on this game being treated as garbage as they are treated. I'm having a massive doubt that they're actually getting the money, and that's the re money for the price tag. And I think the extra money from the price hike actually goes straight into the CEO Swiss bank accounts. I mean, pockets. I mean, super yachts. I mean, what? And I, and I know, I have a funny feeling, the 70 price tag, there are going to be people, because let's point out, history might not repeat itself, but damn, there's a pattern, um, where there are going to be people who are diehard fans of certain game companies that are doing the $70 push, and they're going to be all like, don't you want the devs to make money? And I think, I hope, because we live in a more, I don't want to say intelligent, that's, that's being nice, um, a more connected connected is my word world that you know there are going to be people who remember what the devs are currently going through and are still going through and the treatment that they get and maybe hopefully people will be like yeah no the devs aren't getting any of the money the people who actually make the game are getting squat it's all going straight towards the shareholders and the ceos i'm hoping for that please note my positivity here that i'm hoping that people don't buy the shack of croc and they try to push the narrative of we're trying to pay our employees more. If you are paying your employees more, show it! Spot up! Give me the damn receipts! As the youth would say. Anyway, that's just like my additions, and the only reason why I'm not typing it is because, um, <laughs> uh, I, I suck at writing sometimes. <laughs> and I can't put my thoughts into typing sometimes, and today is one of those days. And also, I haven't made a video for YouTube yet today, and I'm totally not trying to just feed the algorithm gods to make them nice to me. Because it's not like I've been posting a video every bloody day for the past two weeks, and I've been actually on a little high shift, and I know if I don't post something, I'm gonna get in trouble. No, 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 no. It's not that, it's not that. It's just want me wanting to share my thoughts and, you know, give my ideas of what was going on with with the whole $70 price hike. I, 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 I. Well, it's just my opinion. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, also, your outfit was really nice, and I'm very sorry I wasn't breathing that well. As a person who also wants to buy nice outfits and can't find anything in my size and price range that actually breathes, I understand your pain. Really nice outfit, though. You look really nice, lady. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Those people who stayed to watch this video. Da -dee -da -dee 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 -dee.